masterwork. Welcome back to my home studio. Today, instead of doing a drawing activity, we are going to focus on sculpture and possibly installation. Now we've talked about these two words in the classroom together before. Now remember, sculpture is something that is usually in the round. It's 3D, you can interact with it, you can walk around it. It's not flat on a piece of paper like a drawing is. So for today's sculpture, we are actually going to be creating a blanket fort. Okay, so the first thing we need to make our blanket fort is of course a blanket or a piece of fabric that you have. And then we'll probably need something heavy, like some books to weigh down our blanket. And then either a stool, I have this really cute pink fluffy uh, stool, and a chair. Now this is just the easiest way to do this. I'm going to put my fabric over the chair and then connect the other side of the fabric down to my stool. Do you see that? Okay. Now, what I have just created is a little space from my chair to my stool. To add some extra security, I'm going to put a book on top of the fabric so in case someone is under this blanket fort and they pull on it, um, we don't want our fort to come crashing down, right? And then I'm gonna put this book right over here on this side, just to give it some more security, okay? Now I'm gonna pull it a little bit tighter. Now this is a really tiny fort. Um, this is probably little Levea and Zachary size. <laughs> And then you can come in, lift up your blanket, and hide in this little area. All right, so I just showed you the foundation of building a blanket fort, right? It's between two chairs um, or two pieces of furniture, a blanket on top, and a book to weigh it down. And then you can be inside. Now the only problem with this, guys, is that I'm a little bit taller than you. Well, not all of you, but most of you. I'm, I'm kind of taller. So this blanket fort is way too small for me. So, I am going to transform my living room into an adult-sized blanket fort. Okay, that was a lot of work, but I think I'm done. Are you guys ready to see my pretty huge, but I think pretty fantastic blanket fort? Come on in. Okay, so I am going to give you the grand tour of this pretty grand blanket fort. So you come inside and there are a bunch of pillows that I laid down so that I can relax and probably edit this video for you guys. You'll notice that the blankets are resting on these chairs and they go all the way up to some standing lamps that I have in my house which is really fun because it adds um, some light into my pillow fort. And then I come over here and I actually fit a chair in my pillow fort. 
so I can sit here and pick out a record and then play it on my record player over here. And then I plugged in some lights. You'll see these little light bulbs, these little strings of light bulbs all around my fort, giving it some nice ambiance. And then over here, I put a projector on a side table so I can sit down and be all comfy in my fort and watch one of our masterwork videos on my wall. Now, if you would like an advanced tip, I used hair ties to gather some of my fabric, and I also used some binder clips to keep my fabric together. And then lastly, if this shows up on camera, I used some safety pins to pin my fabric together because if I didn't pin it together, I'd have these big holes. Can you, can you see that? And I mean, some of you might want some big holes to act as a skylight or a little window or a place to put secret messages. So yeah, this is my really large adult-sized blanket fort. All right, Masterwork. Well, I hope you have just as much fun as I did creating a really amazing blanket fort. Again, yours doesn't have to be as big as mine. I'm just kind of a big kid. Um, yours can be really tiny. And remember to ask permission before you use blankets and pillows and furniture. And to be safe when doing this, okay? If you notice that a chair is about to fall over, you gotta take a pause and figure out, okay, how do I make this stronger? Do I need to add some more books? Do I need to move the chairs closer together? And this might take a while. This took me a couple hours to make. But I'm really excited to see all of the blanket forts that you guys create. Have your parents take photos or your guardians take photos and have them post it to our shared Facebook page, our Masterwork Academy Facebook page, so we can all admire your sculptural blanket forts together. All right, I'm gonna chill in here for a little bit longer and I will see you guys really soon, I hope. Bye.